parenting tip of the day. So if your kid gets a good grade in school and finishes their school project, praise them, please. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel today and we are doing another part of The Sims 4 Parenthood today and today is going to be a great day because you know why? Because we are going to learn about some pro parenting tips and we might get a girlfriend for Nash today. Who knows? It might be Lori, it might be some other neighbor, but who freaking knows? I'm excited for today. So, as of right now, Elena and the gang are just, you know, chilling at home till like it's 7.30pm. But Gideon is making some lovely, lovely spaghetti for the fam bam as Elena eats some, well, scrambled eggs and bacon. Don't know why, but Elena actually achieved, a, actually achieved um, a great egg in school the other day. I'm so happy that she did. And she also brought home a school project. So you know what that means. We get to work on a school project together as a family for once. So what did she get from school? It's like, Dad, can I have a car, please? Can you buy me a toy? I want the Barbie Dream House with a with a jacuzzi. But well, sweetie, I don't have money. I'm broke. I just pay the bills and I can't do it. So what pull what did she get? Oh, she got the solar system one. Ooh, I want to try that one at night. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and move this robot out the way because it's a piece of trash. There we go. Right there we go. Piece of metal. We're gonna place this this thing out here. So I really want to try this out together. So let's go ahead and start working on it sloppy because Elena is a child and she cannot work with machines by herself. But Gideon and Nash are going to go and help. Well, actually, no, Nash should help her. But also the family work on this to carefully and start on it. So while he does that, I'm going to put this into the fridge for later for leftovers for everyone else who wants to eat it later. Because the kids, I think the kids already ate their food already. And I think he needs to read this for school. No, for work or something like that. I don't know. But as Elena works on her project very, very sloppy. Can I see it here? Assist with the project here. Oh, yeah. And Gideon was able to get to the next level of his aspiration for the super parent aspiration. So as of right now, he has level six of the parenting skill. He needs to help his child with schoolwork for at least two more hours and also have a child, well, have a child with character value within range to receive a, to receive a trait. So we're almost done with that. Are you going to go and help her? Go help her. Go help Elena. She's, she can clearly see she's struggling here. She can, she's struggling. So what does it say here? So good grades, um, pretty tasty. Secret revealed. Ooh, hearing some ju hearing hearing a juicy secret will make any sim giddy with excitement. It's like, J well, Jamie made a funny face at school, and I wanted to tell you, Dad. Jamie's weird. I like Jamie. I think Jamie has a weird face. Jamie has Play-Doh in his teeth. Jamie eats Play-Doh for for lunch. His parents give him Play-Doh. His parents give him pink Play-Doh. I like yellow Play-Doh. What's your favorite Play-Doh, Dad? What is your favorite Play-Doh? <laughs> I'm so weird. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, so we actually um acquired the rocket ship skill. Nice. So while they can work on that, Nash, it's about 9.30, which is, you know, not past your bedtime. But I want you to go ahead and go ahead and text Lori here. Because I want you to, you know, be, you know, invite her to a certain lot here. Just invite her over. And I think what I'll do is actually go on a date with her later today, but also I want to go on a date with Sophia because, you know, I feel like there might be some connection there. It might not be because since the last part, Sophia kind of stood up Gideon and, oh, repair this, please. I'm going to replace that. But yeah, like Sophia well, stood up Gideon and I don't know why she did it, but anyway, I don't really care. But let's go ahead and give her a nice little hug. And... And Nash really likes Lori so much. It's kind of hilarious. It's kind of like, oh, Lori, I love you so much. I'm like, ha ha, okay. But no, we're going to go ahead and rave about growing up. Oh, she's single, Maria Domingo. Nice, nice. I wonder what the kids will look like, actually. I'm really curious. But we're going to do inside joke. And we're going to share a secret and whisper. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to take, let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie together. I want to take a selfie for the picture. So take a picture. Take a photo with Lori. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Benny Wheeler's here? Where's Benny? Benny? <gasps> Is that Benny? No, that's a creepy old man saying, called Santora Banks. Ew, pedo. Anyway, where's Benny? Oh, Benny? Is that Benny? Oh, no, that, no that's Bobby. I was like, okay, I just saw a B. I was like, oh. I immediately thought that was Benny, but it's not. 
Um, actually, Benny is pretty much closely to being, you know, Elena's um best friend, air quotes, or friends in general. But you know, we'll wait and see how that all plays out. I'm really curious to see how. It, well, you know, ooh, look at them. The Sims team actually really did get um on Lori's like her genetics and everything with her family, and I really do love it. They just, oh, I like them. They're gonna have the best time together. They're gonna have the best kids. Actually, I am really curious to see how it all plays out. But anyway, so like I said, Lori and Nash will be together forever. Hopefully they will be as they soon as they go on the date. So working carefully from working carefully on a school project. Carefully work careful careful work increases the final quality of the project. Sims take pride in high quality work. Very, very true. They truly do. So how does how do you feel about this? Working carefully. Okay, cool, cool. Good crates too. So I wonder how all this kind of plays out. Are they almost done? <gasps> They're done! So what's the end result? Elena finished her school project quickly. Extra credit has been rewarded. <gasps> Yay! Look at her solar system! I remember doing a sol solar system project just like this. Like I had, um, I had like a solar system type of project going on. I had to do it for science, of course. And then, like had my pamphlet like on the right side. And, the and then I had my... Um, stuff in the middle and my stuff on the, the on the other side as well. And I did like a, another project on tornadoes, hurricanes, and squalls. It was so cool. But we're gonna go and put this onto inside. I'm gonna put this on into build mode, and I want to place it somewhere onto one of our shelves at least. I want to place it somewhere in here. I'm gonna remove this. Uh, let's go and put this right here. I'm gonna take off this. I'm gonna move this. Nah, I don't need that. I guess I'm gonna put it on her. I don't need it on the desk either. So I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna place it right on here. Because I really need it in my life. Like right now, I'm so beyond happy. Okay. There we go. Is that in the wall? Okay, that's in the wall. That does not need to be in the wall right now. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's better. Actually, no. No, it's not. Um, move it up a bit forward. There we go. That should be good. Yep, yeah, there we go. I want to change. Can we change the colors of it? We cannot. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. But I'm so happy that Alina got extra credit for once in her entire life. Because all her life, she has been such a rowdy child. Always been so, you know, rude. But she got over her phase and everything's all fine. But let's go and view our project here. But she feels really happy for making a new best friend. And the link went. Wait. Diligent work from clean, completing a school project. Finishing a school project with good results makes you happy. It does. It very, very does. Diligent work. Awesome. But can we encourage Elena about her good deeds that she did today? Let's go and do parenting. Encourage Bruce's behavior. Completing school project. Oh, yes. Completing a school project. Yes. So parenting tip of the day. So if your kid gets a good grade in school and finishes a school project, praise them, please. So that's the parent, parenting tip of the day. So praise them because he did good work and got good grades. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and see if what he needs to else do. He needs to go ahead and work on a school project or school work for your kid at least one more hour. So we'll do that later in the morning. We'll never get back to school. So as of right now, he needs to go ahead and, well, Gideon needs to work on promoting his cause and level up his charisma skill. So we're going to promote to Lori here since we don't hardly know her. Because none of our, because as of right now, Lori is spending the night at the house. And I think we should give Nash the woohoo talk. Since Lori's been here, you know, for a couple hours. She's, you know, she needs to learn. We're not going to protest anything here. Okay, get in, walk over there to your son's room. Saying no closed doors, no locked doors at all. At any time, any means necessary, do not lock the door. You're going to go, are you going to walk over there? You're going to do it? You're going to walk over to his room? Because clearly he has a girl in his room and it's literally midnight. That's unacceptable. No need for that. We're gonna I'm gonna reset you. There we go. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and do a friendly introduction to Lori here. Oh, 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 do not, do not. Nash, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, Nash, what are you doing? What is he doing? Huh? Hmm, he's a little bit hungry. Get a, a, a nice midnight snack. We're gonna give him a midnight snack, actually. Get a quick meal of some oatmeal. Why not? So, Lori, like, since, like, okay, like, since that, that Je Je Jeanette is no longer with us, getting has to be the upper hand, has to be the parent to make sure that Nat Nash is doing the right thing. Because he's a teenager, he's 17, he has hormonal issues, he's a, has acne, he just has problems in general. But we're going to go ahead and do a front introduction to 
to uh, Lori here to see how she's doing here. Can do a friendly introduction? No? Are you? You gonna, you gonna greet her? You just, just stand at each other. Reset. Okay. Do it again. Friendly introduction. There we go. Better now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and brighten her day. Ask her about her life. What is your job? What is your occupation? But we're going to go ahead and promote our cause and then level up our charisma skills so we can get promoted tomorrow. Because I really need that promotion. Okay, good. I promoted my cause. Awesome. That's all I need to do. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. We're going to go ahead and also practice our speech on the mirror. That's all we needed. Like, he, all Gideon needed wanted, he wanted to do is just promote his cause for his job. Because right now he's at level one. Are you okay? Are you going to talk to Lori? Well, you should. Because she is going to be your girlfriend one day. We're going to go on a date later today, too. But what was that? Oh, watch. Yeah, go watch it with her. Please do it. Is that new? But we're going to go ahead and do some romantic stuff. We're going to go compliment her, at, um, her parents. We're also going to go ahead and share a nice little secret and express our adoration. Oh, yes, please. Do it, do it. Do it. <gasps> Make it. Oh, oh, oh. Make a move. I want to see this happen. Make a move, please. Nash, make a move. Okay, he has a few interactions left. Oh, oh, look at Oh, snap. Oh, 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 I gotta get my screenshots for this. I have been waiting for this my entire life. Okay. One screenshot. There we go. <gasps> oh, interesting. Look at Nash's Nash's slime dog getting that. Mm. Well, I guess you need a, you need, we need the woohoo talk since she made a move. So, uh, yeah. Getting needs to give you a stern, a stern talking to about the woohoo. Okay. Okay. So let's see what happened next. Ooh. Oh, things are getting serious. Oh, snap. This is. It's like, yeah, I know I'm a slime. I know I'm cute. I know. I like you. I like you too. Oh, look, look at them. That's so nice. I like it. We're going to go ahead and whisper sweet nothings in her ear. Aww. Aww. Aww, that's so nice! We're also gonna go ahead and do some more room take stuff. We're going to do a pickup line, but I think we're gonna go ahead and ask her to leave. But we do have school in about six more hours. And we do need to go ahead and work on our homework since we have not done that just yet. This is Lori's homework. Uh, I don't know. But let's gonna do our homework in a bit. And he's almost done with his charisma skill. To level, to level up on that soon. I think he is. Yeah, he's almost done. He's close to 100%. We need to go take a bath, too. So, we're going to need to take a shower. And then, Nash, let's go ahead. And go ahead and, and say goodbye to Lori. I don't think she's going to... Ooh, let's not invite her to stay tonight. We're going to ask to leave. Because we're going to want to date on with her later today. I'm excited for it. I'm just really excited for Nash to, like, you know, have a girlfriend and have a relationship with someone that he truly cares about and Lori truly cares about. And maybe that will, you know, eventually open up to have have a dinner date with her parents. Because I feel like that she's, her parents somewhat approve but don't approve at the same time of her dating life. But I don't think they really know about anything about his life, about her life. Because Lori does have a si has two siblings, a, a, wait, has two sisters, a toddler and a child sibling who are both girls, which is, you know, cool. But yeah, since he has already done with all that, we're going to use the toilet and then practice just, oh, he's too uncomfortable. Oh, use the toilet, use the toilet, thank you. Practice your speech because you're almost done and you're almost going to get a promotion soon too. Because you're at level, well, you're at 84% right now. And it's 5 a.m. in the morning. Literally 5 a.m. Lori has been here all night. I mean, I'm not complaining, though. Elena has been a good child sleeping throughout her days. So has level 6 in the social skill. I mean, like, she's a good child. She just... Go, oh. hey, use, use, use the toilet. And, ooh, okay. Go use the toilet now. Okay, we're... Okay, we're getting... Why do you... No, okay, Gideon, do not. Don't take a nap. You have to finish your skill. Boost up a little bit. And go ahead and practice speech right here. You're confident. You're confident enough to get that promotion. I believe in you. Homework completed. Awesome. And hopefully Nash gets a B level today at school. And he's going to say goodbye to Lori. Oh, he is. At 5 a.m. in the morning. 
It's like, I'm sorry, Lori, but you have to go. I'll see you at school. I really love you. I hope you have a wonderful day at home. Hopefully your parents don't give you any trouble. See you later. I should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Awesome. So, Nash, you know what you're going to do? You're going to go ahead and psych yourself up and freshen yourself up for the day at school. And I think he's going to go and freshen up and take off and get off the acne cream. So, I think we should go ahead and go into cast mode and take off the acne off his face. So, I'm going to type in T True. Here we go. And I'm going to go into, oh, I'm going to type in cast. Oh, okay. Cast dot full edit mode on. There we go. So I'm gonna go into criticism and take off his acne and his braces. Well, I'm gonna take off his acne first and then his braces and see how his life progresses on later in life. Cause I think that'd be kind of cool. Him being acne free and then he'll be brace free and then he can go on an actual date, maybe go to prom one day. But yeah, he's gonna get his, his um, pimples off here. So let's go and do this. Ooh, where's this pimple? Right here. Oh, look, look at that clear face. Look at that clear face. Oh, it's amazing. But I'm going to change up his... I'm going to change up... Ooh, I should change up someone's style here. I kind of want to change um, Nash's out everyday wear to something different. But I also want to give him a new... See, what's this? Okay, he has that shirt on. Ooh, but I kind of want to give him the sweatshirt too or this jean jacket. I'm going to change to a different color. I'm gonna give him this one. Yeah, that looks, that looks kind of cool. There we go. Clear. But now that I got that all done out the way, I'm really excited to see how, you know, their life progresses on in life. Because soon Nash will get his braces off. And soon Elena, Elena herself, will probably get braces when she becomes a teenager. And, you know, she'll age up soon. But when is her next... Uh, when does she age up? Because we'll have a big giant party just for her and a big giant party for Nash. Because I cannot wait. I'm really excited to see how how the sim 4 progresses on in in as a game itself like one day we'll, one day i know one day we'll get university one day and then you know we'll have our sims go off to university and see how that life progresses on later in life so gideon has 20, 15 days left nash has four days left until he's a young adult are you serious elena has four days until she ages up into a teenager okay so, in a few more parts, we'll have a double birthday today. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for that. So, did he complete his job task? He did. So, he should be getting a promotion in about tomorrow on Wednesday. So, let's go and stop that right now. So, Elena, since you are already psyched up for the day, eating your eggs and toast and your bacon, Gideon can go ahead and actually learn and make a sack lunch for you guys before you head off to school. So we're going to make a sack lunch of some, ooh, we should make a sack lunch of something. So cook, hmm, what should we cook for them today for lunch? I kind of want to cook them a BLT, but we don't have any tomatoes because I know that they don't like tomatoes in their lunch sometimes. Ooh, I kind of want to get, ooh, Italian meatballs. That's one giant meatball. That, no, I'll cook them some spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 not spaghetti. Hmm. I'll give him, f ooh, 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 no, ooh, I don't know, grilled cheese, no, nope, I'm, I'm so in this, I really want to be a good parent and make them some good lunches, ugh, I hate it, but we're gonna go ahead and serve them for a family meal, do that right there, and cook that so we can make some sack lunches for us, well, for the kids, and then have it for later as lunch, and, you know, hopefully they'll make, you know, have a good, decent lunch today, no, 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 don't do it, make them lunches, well, do we have any leftovers in the fridge? Oh, this is spoiled. We're going to go ahead and sell these two. We don't need that. How many more do we have? Oh, that's normal. So we're going to pack for a sack lunch. So we got... Good thing we have spaghetti in our fridge as of right now. So they'll be going off to school in about 30 more minutes. So does everyone complete their schoolwork? Okay, you, you're done with your schoolwork. And I think... Are you done with your schoolwork yet? I think you are. No! Alina, do your homework because you need to do your... Oh, you need to level your mental skill, actually. So you have about 30 more minutes until you are almost done with your schoolwork. She just started. Oh, gosh. Nope. Put that away. Put the, Okay, stop eating. Stop eating. Elena, come on. El Elena, go do your homework. I'm about to punish you. Go do your homework. And then we'll make some sack lunges for them. I'm going to give you one, Nash. And then I'm going to give you... going to make the sack lunch. There we go. 
Make it do a sack lunch, please. There we go. Sack lunch? No? No sack lunch for you? Well, I'm gonna open this again. And then pack into a sack lunch. There we go. Much better. And the kids should be getting off the of school in a minute. So Nash, Nash, Nash. Go to school. Thank you. So, oh, oh. Film frumpy. Humiliated from actually coming a, glim a glimpse from the wrong angle. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. So, Lindsay, are you almost done with your homework? You are actually almost done. That's kind of good. So, Nash is off to school as of right now, which is great. And Lindsay should be off going to school very, very soon. Who's calling you? Oh, Colin. Hey, Gideon, let's go experience some more unique culture at the city provides. I hear an opera. Ooh, around eight. You want to go? Sure. I hear they've actually fixed fixed that glitch. I think I'm pretty sure they did. So we'll go around at 8 p.m. to later stay with our father and see how that all wells plays out. But we're going to go ahead and have Nash make study it hard. So now she's done with her school. Go to school now so you can get that. Oh, wait, she already finished her school. Well, she has an A in school. Good. See you later. So we're going to go ahead and have Gideon go ahead and call up Sophia and see if she wants to go on a date today. Wait, who's calling me now? Winner, winner. Oh, Nash just won a school prize. Should we give him, We should we give it to him in the front of the class or quietly in private in front of everyone? Emotional control or affects empathy. Oh, I don't know if it increases or decreases. Ooh. Oh, yay. So emotional control has increased. So Gideon Worley has advised Nash school how to deal with this, situ this situation. Awesome. So nice work, Lena. Completing the school project really has a, has a positive impact on your grades. Keep up the good work. It says Nash has received an excellent oh an excellent excellence bunny award in his inventory. Ooh, cool. Let's see what it looks like. I want to want to see what it looks like. Oh, we can't get it yet until he's back at school. Ooh, his mood is a little bit low. So I'm gonna boot that up right there. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna boost this up a little bit down right there because you know he has a sack lunch. He's fine. So let's go ahead and have you know you're gonna call Sophia yet? You're gonna ask someone on a date? Uh wait, can we ask her? we can ask someone on a date yet? I don't know if we can. So the last time we did that, someone stood us up. Ask on date. Please do. And we're gonna go into a diner. Ask Sophia on a date. Please say yes. Please say yes. Do not st don't stand me up, please. I don't I don't think Gideon has a heart to be stood up again. Cause it's been eight years since he like last went on a date. Like last time we went on a date was eight years ago. And that's saying, and like, clearly, he does not know what a date is. So this is his first date. Well, second, well, currently, I would say his quote-unquote second date, but his first official date in eight years. So he's trying, at least. We're not going to go to the burger bar, because that's, you know, informal. We're going to go over to some other restaurant that actually plays down, you know, with his springs that I want to go to. I want to go over to the Blue Hair Diner, at least. Or do I want to go to the Happy Days Diner? There's two diners I want to go to. I think I might go to the Happy Days Happy Days Diner because you know I want to be I want to have a happy date, have a successful date, and do something fun for least. So I think well, what we're gonna do is that I might actually only do Gideon's date today, but because Lori and Nash's date is a little bit more important because Gideon I want to see how he either if he fails or succeeds in his date. Because, again, it's been eight years since he's last been on a date since Jeanette died. That's a long time. That's a long time. Oh, my God. That's been a long time. That's really sad, at least. Because Gideon, eight years ago, he, right now he's 30. And eight years ago, yeah, eight years ago he was 22. Ooh, no, 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 no. He's not 30. He's not 30 years old. Wait, no, yeah, he is 30 years old. So, let's see. What's what's thirty times what's thirty minus seventeen? Where's my calendar? Okay, let's see thirty minus seventeen. Oh no 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 thirty minus seventeen. Oh my gosh, my phone. Thirty minus seventeen. Thirteen. Oh. Nope, nope. <laughs> Gideon is not thirty years old. I made a mistake. Oh, cause Nash is seventeen years old and thirty minus seventeen is thirteen. That that would have made Gideon and Jeanette. 13 years old when they were kids. Ooh. Well, that is kind of true. That was that is kind of true. They were 13 when they kind of met. But they were 14 when they, you know, 
did the deed, and that's a little bit, ah, uh, uh. anyway, since we're here, enough of that conflict there, we're gonna make this a good date, where's the waiters, oh, here it is, let's go ahead and request a table, we're gonna go request a table at a booth today, so request a table right here, so he wants to be confident, we can totally do that, and he also wants to go ahead and flatter someone, we can definitely do that for sure, who is this, Malcolm Lim, grab hello, who are you, piece of trash, so it's like right this way, my date. Oh, date and a date. So this is a definitely a this is gonna be a good date for sure. So hopefully she loves the happy diners. Oh, hello, hi. Um, here's your table. Enjoy your meal. So Elena, I mean Sophia. Oh gosh, we're gonna be a little romantic. We're gonna act if she's single and ready to mingle. Of course, as always, be very subtle. We're gonna be a little bit friendly, brighten her day, and we're going to go ahead and promote our cause. Oh, hey, Juliana, how you doing? She needs to be in school, it's 11.30. So she is single, we're gonna have to socialize for our date about seven more times and discuss about the meal. Ooh, kiss her hand or flirt. Ooh, I don't know. Compliment her appearance. That'll be kind of a good smooth mood. Tell us about monkeys. Oh, we did it successfully, awesome. And we're also gonna go ahead and tell a dirty joke. Tell her some dank memes, that's right. Tell her some dank memes. Like, who doesn't love dank memes? That's kind of hilarious, right? Help fix relationship. Why? Help fix bad relationship for Colin Worley, your father. I wonder if they're having problems right now. I don't know. I'm really curious to see. Hold, let, me, let, me, let me click. Let me click. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Let's go do some more romantic stuff. We're going to flirt with her. And then we should go ahead and order for the table. Bring out cake for what? For who? Order for table. Because I wonder what kind of food they have here at the diner here. Because I'm really curious to see how food is good and how the quality is. We might give them a five star rating if we can possibly do that for sure. I was really happy. Okay. So, as of right now, I think we should go ahead and get juice on the rocks for both of us. Because, you know, we're both adults. And then for the main course of the deal, we should order some steak. Yes. Cause that's very classy, right? <gasps> Ooh, shish, shish kebabs. It's 21 Simone. We're spending how much? 54 Simone. You know, that's better for it. I don't really care. We are going to have a good day and she's going to love us for sure. Ah, she's feeling flirty and she wants some grilled treats. Well, you sh we should have ordered that probably before. Oh, well, we're going to go ahead and flirt with her a little bit more. And we can go ahead and confess our attraction. Ooh, she likes it. We're also going to go ahead and do a sexy pose, show off the muscles. Yeah, show off the muscles, big boy. It's like, I went to college and I learned about school. What about you? It's like, we would like the um, the juice on the rocks and two steaks for us. It's like, sure. Thank you. Your meal will be right out as soon as possible. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to exchange our, our numbers. But like I said, it's I think it's going to be a really good date to date for him. For Gideon, since it's like, you know, it's going so well. We're at a bronze level. And so far, so good. Gideon has not flopped on this date so far. And he's not socially awkward yet, though. Like, clearly, it's been eight years. Like I said, eight years. Yes? <gasps> okay, she likes it. Okay, good. So far. Okay, it's going good. Really good. Awesome and happy. Okay, we're also going to go ahead. What, what else can we do with her? Can we? I want her. <gasps> we can do our first kiss. Okay, we need to do that at the end of the date. We're going to blow her a kiss, and then ask her a risque question. Hopefully, she doesn't, you know, be sh shook by that. I'm really. I'm not. I'm like. I'm, I feel. I feel like she's gonna like it, but also not like it. But I hope she likes my risque question. Tell another dirty joke. Deep conversation. Sure. Where is it at? Oh, I missed it. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's see. Deep conversation right here. There we go. So, where's our meal? Waiter! Oh, we're right there. Who are you again? Ooh! Look at that meal. Look at that sparkling quality. So, we got our nice normal. Oh, wait. Oh, please, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Do not leave, Sophia. I am. I love you. Don't leave me. Let me love you, please. Let me love you. I guess we can go ahead and offer a rose. Hopefully it's not flopping all over the place. She 
he feels very like he's totally digging me for sure and he's all he's on a hot lunch date at least and the kids are not are still at school which is great we're gonna have elena make some friends at school let's go ahead Ooh, wait, wait can we discuss about the meal yet uh, complain about dish yes and then do one more deep conversation uh, a little bit of a little deep conversation where's that with the Come on, oh, okay, yo, people, stop. Oh, wait, you work here together? Oh. Alice Lewis and Vivian Lewis, interesting. Nice to know. Oh, are you gonna oh, eat somewhere else? Please don't, please don't leave. I don't have time for this, Gideon. Gideon, do not flop on this date. You worked too hard for this. Eight years in the making. This is your first date in eight years. Do not mess it up. We don't have time for this. Okay, there we go. Silver level. One more time to socialize about the date. Okay. Ask about love life. Okay, Elena has returned from school. Awesome. You met Max at school. Ooh, cool. Oh, the first rose. It's like for me? Sure. Why do you have a glass in your hand? Is she drunk? Is she Was this why you agreed on going on a date with me? Was Gideon? Are you drunk? Are you juiced? Hmm, she's not I don't know. <laughs> she still has a drink in her hand. So, so. She's, I think she's really juiced. I think she's hangover. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and kiss her hand. See if he you know responds to it wellly. We'll check with we'll check back with her tomorrow in the next part for sure. Cause I really think that she might not be drunk, but you never could be sure. Like I said, it's been eight years. Let's go ahead and embrace her one more time. I think we should socialize about the the meal about two more times. Wait, can we fl oh, flatter her? Flatter her, please, because you want to do that for sure. And you want to woohoo with someone, too? Don't get it twisted, boy. Don't get it twisted. So what else do we need to do for our aspiration? Help with, with the kids' schoolwork about one more t one more hour. And I think what we're going to do, I'm about to end this part really, really soon with a kiss. Because I really want to, I want to kiss her so badly. Not, not going to lie, complain about, uh, complain, compliment her appearance. Flirt, embrace her, please. I want to seal it with a kiss. Okay, boost up her mood. Boost up his mood. Make him, make him not sleepy. And she laid, she ate nothing from the plate. That's saying something a lot. What, what is going on over here? Are you kidding me? Seriously, Juliana. I told. And they're like. So, honey, um, what would you like for lunch today? Clearly, as your daughter makes a mess on the floor with 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 chocolate syrup and milk, like, clearly, where did she get the powder from and the chocolate syrup? Like, like this is not your home, child. What is wrong with you? Okay, yo, yo, can we discipline her? Can we discipline this child, please? We're gonna do a rude introduction. I I don't have time for this. I do not have time for this. Wait, did she leave me already? Did she leave? Well, sh she straight up and left. You know, that's fine. I don't really care. That's fine. Oh, it's uh, Carly Keys. Yeah, um, clearly this child needs some some discipline right now. Friendly. Okay, can I do some parenting? Mean. Shove. Sh why would you shove a child? We're going to nag at her. Nag the child. Look at Miba. Hello. Have a deep voice. Cool. Uh, mischief? No. It's like, are you like, are you out of your mind, Juliana? You're chill. You're. Oh, look at Nancy laying up, sweeping up that mess. We're gonna talk to her parents over here, give some parenting tips, cause clearly they don't know how to take care of her children when they are making a mess. Give parenting tips to both of them. They need help. We are gonna be their guide about being the pro parent. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Oh no, she's right here. Sophie is right here. I thought she straight up and left. I was like, oh. We're gonna give her a first kiss too. We, gotta, we have to do. We have to give her the first kiss. Uh, Actually, this is our first kiss in eight years. His first kiss in eight years, you guys. Uh, eight years in the making. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be epic. This kiss better be awesome. Gideon, Gideon, come on, give her, give, kiss her, kiss her, please. Stop talking to the group. Come on, give her a kiss. Gideon, Gideon, get up. There, there we go. Give her a little bit of smoochy smooch, even though she might be juiced. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want to I get a screen of this. But everyone's else in the way.
I gotta get oh there we go okay that should be this should be somewhat good I put my walls up there oh but Gideon's face is not in the picture you know that's you know it's fine it's fine I have to get the picture in the in the frame that's fine oh well as well as she has a drink in her hand she might be juicy she might be not but I don't know give her a little smooch smooch there we go I want to give it like oh guess we're gonna go with that kiss right there okay I'm gonna get that screenshot there we go Aww. How nice! So Sophia and Gideon are both having their very first kiss! Yay! So that's really awesome! So I wonder if they can go steady yet, but I don't want to do it just yet though. I do want to go in and blow her a kiss, and I think we're going to go and call it a part. Because it has been 35, 36 minutes or so far. So either way, I am going to go and wrap up this part right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me down in the comments below as always, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!